Hello and welcome to the 2022 All Arizona All Academic Celebration. My name is Daniel Kaur and I am the proud president of Arizona Western College. Uh, it is my honor to lead the recognition today of some of the most accomplished students across Arizona. Now, as a president of a community college in Arizona, I get to attend a lot of celebrations recognizing the amazing students from across the state. But today is really one of my very favorite events because we recognize you, the very best of the best that Arizona has to offer. And it's an honor to welcome you here today. I'm pleased to be joined by our virtual gathering today from guests from across the 10 community colleges in Arizona. Governing board members, chancellors, vice chancellors, deans, faculty, loved ones of the scholars that we're celebrating today, as well as the Arizona Board of Regents, the Arizona's universities. All three of our amazing universities are represented in today's ceremony. Please join me in a virtual round of applause for the leadership and support of these great uh, partners recognizing our students. This is where we virtually applaud. Go ahead. It is with great pride that we recognize these students today. It's a privilege to be here to see these students as they inspire, empower, and foster other students to explore their career goals and frankly, their potential. The potential of this group, virtually unlimited. It is with great hope for the future that we imagine the significant impact that these outstanding students will make on our society as a whole, especially our communities right here in Arizona. Let's talk about why we're here today. Each year, we celebrate the All Arizona Academic Team. This year, we honor exceptional individuals who were nominated by their community colleges across the state of Arizona. And Arizona is unique in that every corner of this great state is covered by an amazing community college. The bar is set very high. To be a member of the All Arizona Academic Team, each of these students that will be recognized today must maintain a GPA of 3.5 or higher on a 4.0 scale, be in good academic standing, be working towards an associate's degree, demonstrate leadership, and interact with the community as a college ambassador. And let's stop and reflect at this moment to realize they're doing all of this, achieving all these remarkable things during a worldwide pandemic. They have overcome so much to achieve so much. To be put it mildly, to be chosen as an all Arizona academic team member, it's a highly distinguished honor. These exemplary students have gone on to be awarded in the past with the highest of academic honors at their university of choice. They have graced the floors of the White House as fellows. They inform good journalism across the state and across the nation, and they protect our shores on the battlefield, and they make us all proud. Judging to reach this stage consists of three rounds. First round judges consist of business, civic, educational, and government leaders. The second and third rounds are held in Washington, D.C. by representatives of federal agencies and national education associations. Scores from the national competition are used to rank students for state teams and those who stand out are selected to the first team all USA team, which is announced in the spring. It is quite possible, perhaps even probable, that some of today's honorees will be selected as one of the 22 to be all USA academic team members, receiving an additional $5,000 scholarship. Today's honorees are also eligible to be named the New Century Transfer Scholars and participants in the Coca-Cola Academic Team Scholarship Program. Once again, please join me in thanking these groups for their continued support for our best and brightest academic scholars by utilizing the live chat or the emoji function during this virtual ceremony. Hey, we've gone virtual, we can recognize and applaud virtually too. So show them some love. It is now my pleasure to introduce a fierce champion of community college education, Governor Doug Ducey. First elected in 2014 and then re-elected in 2018, Governor Ducey has applied the principles of his successful businesses 
to transform Arizona's economy. As the 23rd governor of the state of Arizona, he has turned a $1 billion deficit into a $1 billion surplus. He has championed K-12 education, increased funding for K-12 education, and championed the passage of legislation that would increase pay or has increased pay for Arizona's teachers by 20% by 2020. And he has expanded school choice opportunities across the state for the children of Arizona. He has also prioritized public safety, creating the Arizona Border Strike Force, a statewide multi-agency effort to combat border-related crime. In addition to leading the state, Governor Ducey enjoys spending time with his family and traveling around the beautiful state of Arizona. Please join me in welcoming Governor Doug Ducey. Hi, this is Governor Ducey. I want to congratulate our student scholars who were chosen for this year's All Arizona Academic Team. You've all demonstrated intellect, leadership, and a determination to achieve academic excellence. I've been very impressed with all you've accomplished, and I'm confident that you'll serve as an inspiration for other students around the state. You all have exciting futures ahead of you. I also want to recognize the leadership and educators at our outstanding community colleges. The academic excellence we're celebrating today is thanks to you. We're dedicated to supporting our community colleges. Last year, I was eager to sign legislation which allows community colleges to offer four-year degrees. And our budget this year proposes $30 million to fully restore STEM and workforce funding, provide students with financial aid, and more. We're also allocating funds to develop six new workforce accelerators in our colleges to train Arizonans in advanced manufacturing jobs. I'm confident these actions will open new doors for our students and give them the skills needed to participate in industries of the future. Congratulations again and keep up the good work. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our MC for today, Ian Schwartz. Ian is an Arizona native, born and raised in Mesa, Arizona. Ian graduated from Arizona State University. However, first he attended Mesa Community College where his love for journalism was launched as a writer of the Mesa legend. After starting his career in Illinois and making stops in Albuquerque and Sacramento, uh, California, uh, he arrived back to Arizona. During his career, Ian has covered flash floods, blizzards, tornadoes, wildfires, and drought. If Mother Nature could conjure it up, Ian has covered it. But his love of Arizona has brought him back to his home right here in Arizona in the Valley of the Sun, where he forecasts and covers weather for both Channel 3 and 5, as well as covering special events in our community. Please join, join me in giving a warm welcome to our host, Ian Schwartz. Thank you, President Coor. Uh, it's always exciting to MC this event. Uh, my roots are here in Mesa and in the Dobson Ranch. I was born and raised here, and I went to MCC. I got my professional start here. I started my journalism career here, writing for the Mesa legend many, many years ago. So it's really special to be part of this event and to be able to honor so many wonderful students here. Um, we do have to touch on a sad note uh, for today because of a great man that we lost, a man who loved this event and loved honoring students. I'm, of course, talking about uh, the former Attorney General Grant Woods, who passed away in October. He was a renowned advocate for education, for diversity, and the everyday person. Early in his career, he was Senator John McCain's chief of staff. He always put the public interest first, like Senator McCain, and always chose integrity above party affiliation. He was a true Renaissance man. He was a top lawyer. He was a revered family man. He was a devoted public servant. He was a sports fan and a lover of the arts. He even wrote screenplays, songs, children's books, and a novel. Uh, during his time as a top lawyer, it was marked by civil rights enforcement, including his 
uh, advocacy for the creation of the Martin Luther King State holiday in this state, in Arizona. He was the principal architect for Arizona's lawsuits against tobacco companies, resulting in the largest civil settlement in history. In 1995, he was selected by his peers as the nation's top attorney general. Even with his busy schedule, national and local, he really took time for the youth in this state. He founded the Boys and Girls Club of the Valley, the Grant Woods Branch, the Mesa Education Foundation, and the Mesa Arts Academy. Grant and his wife Marlene were among the early forces behind the Phoenix Children's Museum, and he really made time to honor young people and their achievements. And we are very sad he cannot be here today. Please join me in celebrating the life of Mesa Westwood High School and Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law at ASU graduate Grant Woods. Being a part of the all Arizona academic team celebration each year always reaffirms to me that the nation is going to be in capable, learned hands. I've been doing this now for um, couple of decades and for me it's one of the best days of the year. It's exciting to see all of our Arizona young people achieving at a very high level, to see their parents so happy and, and proud of them as they should be and it does give you hope for the future because it's really up to you all. So many things that uh, the community colleges give to students and to families and so many opportunities uh, that it changes your life and I can tell you for your parents is if it changes your life it changes their life. Dream big things for yourself okay don't settle there's no reason to settle there's n don't let anybody tell you that, that you can't uh, accomplish your dreams it will not be easy there's going to be a million bumps in the road and maybe you'll get there, and maybe you won't, but you'll never get there if you don't try. And it's a lot harder today for teachers than it was when my mom was a teacher. Uh, she, she had the luxury of maybe just being a teacher. Now she, they have to be a teacher and a social worker and a psychologist and a nutritionist and a police officer and everything else under the sun. It's a tough job. We need to support teachers. So uh, you students, as you're celebrating today and looking forward to what's next in your lives, think about what your parents have done for you, what teachers have done for you, and what these public education institutions have done for you. And I hope you'll resolve to support them in the future. It, there's a reason why I've done this for the last however many uh, years, 10, 15, 20 years, whatever it's been. And that's because it's, this is a big deal. I think this is an important day. You know, we're gonna have some fun and it's, and it's, it's exciting to be here. But this is important because, and you gotta, you gotta make sure you, you recognize that. And as parents, you know, all the things we go through as parents throughout our lives with our children, uh, the ups and the downs, this is a day to step back and go, you know what, we did pretty good here. And I don't think many kids can do that without the support of great parents. Grant's a great guy, and he's done a lot of good things for Arizona. And when we served together, uh, it was a great relationship. We didn't always agree, but you know what? Uh, Grant's heart was always in the right place. And the key to public service in this country is you want people that will do the right thing. Not because it's popular or not because of some poll, it's because they know deep down inside in their heart they need to do the right thing and that's something you could always count on for Grant. So we're grateful to you Grant for your service, he's a great man, appreciate you very much. The All Arizona Academic Team Awards are made possible only through the support of each community college and through the team effort across the state. Please acknowledge via chat and the emojis, we gotta do this virtually and we gotta cheer each other on, the following individuals who support these efforts. Representing the Arizona Board of Regents, Dr. Larry Penley, Chair of the Board, also representing the Arizona Board of Regents and to provide assistance to all, to our all Arizona students and their transfer to Arizona universities, Mark Denke and Debbie Sale with the Department of Academic and Student Affairs. Representatives from our three state universities and very importantly, the family and the friends and community members who are all participating virtually showing their support. So let's see those clappy emojis, the heart emojis and anything else you got to uh, show the support for everyone. I would now like to introduce today's keynote speaker, 
Carmen Maldonado. She was born and raised in Douglas, Arizona, in the southern part of the state. She graduated from Douglas High. This was in 2009. Since childhood, she knew she wanted to pursue a career in higher education and become the first in her family to earn a degree. Maybe that's the story for some of you as well. Coming from a low-income, single-parent home, she knew she would struggle to finance her education at a university directly out of high school. She started her high school education at the Cochise College at the Douglas campus. She graduated from Cochise College in 2012 with honors and obtaining an associate's, associates of Arts degree in Psychology and an Associates of Science degree in Biology. In 2014, she earned her Bachelor's of Science in Psychology and Master's of Arts in Psychology from the University of Arizona. During the pursuit of her education, Carmen was involved in several honor societies. She conducted research and she participated in other community service programs while also working part-time. That's quite a bit on her plate. She pursued and earned her education debt-free. How amazing is that? She worked diligently to apply for various scholarships and federal and financial aid to help her through her entire education. Now she works for the Office of Scholarship and Financial Aid at the University of Arizona as a project coordinator for the Scholarship Office, where she helps students do the same thing that she did, pursue an education and to apply for scholarships. So wonderful to have here, her here for this event. Resilience is the ability to recover from or adjust easily from misfortune or change, according to Merriam-Webster. Put simply, it means to bounce back. I hadn't heard of that word outside of my psychology textbooks, yet when I transferred to the University of Arizona to complete my education, it felt as though everyone I had met and told my story to could only say one thing to me over and over. You are so resilient. Now, you might be wondering what makes me so resilient, and to tell you the truth, I didn't know why at first. See, to me, I thought I had a somewhat normal upbringing. Single parent home, poverty, food insecurity, among other things. The reality was that this was nothing short of normal in my hometown. My father was an alcoholic, had served his fair share of time in prison, and struggled to keep a job. My mother left when I was too young to remember. I was constantly left in the care of my grandmother up until she passed away or with one of my aunts, all while my father worked night shifts, long hours, in jobs in different cities or even a different state. On the days when I had to stay home, I was often left alone and had to take care of myself from cooking my own food, doing my own laundry, and keeping up with other household chores. I have to say, I became quite efficient at making not quite craft macaroni and cheese and ramen soups. In my ever-changing world at home, the one thing that remained constant was my education. I could rely on going to school for five days out of the week, and I knew I could get breakfast, lunch, and even a snack. School was my safe haven. As the years went on, I became quite good at this whole education thing. I was excelling in my courses, completing all of my homework, and constantly landing in the honor roll or student of the month club. To this day, I don't know why I did it. I had no reason to do all of my homework at school or study for an upcoming spelling test or just do well in school period, yet I still did it. At some point, I made a choice in my life to not follow in the footsteps of failure. From an early age, I had learned that in life you have choices and your actions have consequences, sometimes bad consequences. I didn't want that to be me, so I made a choice to do better, and I stayed out of trouble because I knew exactly what I didn't want to become, a failure. I wanted to experience success and something good in my life. This mentality set the tone for the rest of my life, even to this day, and I constantly challenged myself to do better. It wasn't until I realized this that I truly understood why I kept being told I was resilient. I advanced despite the adversity. I bounced back from that, the challenges that life had handed me. Despite the journey I had, I wouldn't trade it for any other way. I learned and grew from every experience I dealt with in my childhood, in college, and now in my adult life. I won't lie to you. The transition from community college to university can be challenging at times. As scholars, sometimes we feel we have to bear the burden all by ourselves. But if I can give you even one piece of advice, it would be to seek out support programs on campus. It can be anything, whether it's tutoring, 
study groups, clubs, leadership groups, internships, career services, or even financial support. The list goes on and on. All of these types of programs have their unique benefits for us as individuals. Now, I know you're probably heavily involved in programs just like these on your campus right now. Maybe you're running them, or maybe you created one, but don't forget, they are there to support you as well. If you're ever unsure about anything, don't be afraid to ask for help. Bottom line, I highly encourage you to continue to participate in these programs at your university. As it was mentioned in my bio earlier, I currently work at the University of Arizona. While my education and my career track don't exactly line up, there's no place I'd rather be than right here working in higher education. For as long as I can remember, I, like many others, had always had a goal of helping people. I explored various career options, but psychology and mental health was one area that stood out to me. I have always been fascinated by human thinking and behavior. I had a very successful education where I was able to earn a master's degree, a goal I had set for myself long ago. This all led to a great journey of working in a courthouse, an internship where I learned about mental health resources in Tucson, met some great people I call friends to this day, and even a volunteer opportunity as a crisis intervention advocate with Pima County. While I pursued these great opportunities, I finally found myself needing to take the next step and find my first real job as I was nearing graduation. An opportunity came up to take a full-time position in the office where I was currently a work-study to be a scholarship counselor within financial aid. I took advantage of this opportunity and I haven't looked back. Over the years, as I moved up the chain in my office, I was given this wonderful opportunity to work with students just like you and support them during their journey by helping them fund their education and helping them understand how their funding works. Obtaining an education is by no means an easy endeavor, nor is it cheap. You have been given an extraordinary opportunity to take a giant step forward in your education with one less obstacle in your pathway. I was fortunate enough that through financial aid and scholarships, I am proud to say that I completed my entire education, all four degrees, 100% debt free. This achievement did not come easy though, especially as a first generation student. I can't tell you the countless hours I spent working two jobs, hours spent reading and rereading, studying through the night, submitting assignments at 11.57 p.m. just before the deadline, and the sheer amount of tears I shed in this journey. And to tell you the truth, I would do it all over again because I love learning. Everyone's journey is different. To some, my story resonates with you, and to others, it's only a story that you will ever see in movies or hear from story time on TikTok. Regardless, your personal journey is beautiful and matters because let me tell you, you didn't get here by accident. I wanna take a moment to congratulate each and every one of you for all of your achievements so far. Everything you've done, every experience that you have been dealt with has led you to be a part of this year's All Arizona Academic Team. They chose you for a reason. You are resilient. You overcame adversity during a difficult time in our world and you did it. You navigated through online learning, sometimes not just for yourself, but for your kids or siblings. We have all learned to adapt to new ways of learning, communicating, and even just existing. As a successful scholar, you have the tools to see your dreams come to fruition. Take what you have learned about yourself, your dreams, and your goals, and use these lessons to your advantage while completing your degree. Just remember that the journey doesn't end here. No, this is merely the beginning of a new chapter and a new adventure as you enter one of the three state universities. Regardless of which school you go to, continue to strive for success and focus on your goal. Remind yourself of why you're there and how you got there, especially during times when you're uncertain of how to move forward. Completing your degree is just the next step in your journey. Never lose sight of your goal. Go and make a difference in the world of your chosen career. I am proud of you for your journey so far and for the next journey that you are about to embark on. Remember that you are resilient, dedicated, and above all else, a hardworking. Congratulations again on this extraordinary honor of being in the All Arizona Academic Team. 
Thank you so much, Carmen. What an inspiring story that I think will motivate a lot of the students who are participating today. On to our next speaker, Dr. Larry Penley. He was appointed by Governor Doug Ducey to the Arizona Board of Regents in 2015. He is currently the chair of the board and an ex officio member of the Finance, Capital and Resource Committee, Audit Committee, and Academic Affairs and Educational Attainment Committee, and the Research and Health Sciences Committee. Wait, there's more. Regent Penley is the president of Penley Consulting, past president of the Thunderbird School of Global Management, former president of Colorado State University, and the past chancellor of the Colorado State University system. I think he knows a little bit about education. Also, a former dean of the W.P. Carey School of Business at Arizona State. He was the professor of management and at the Robert Herberger Arizona Heritage, and he was the Robert Herberger Arizona Heritage Chair Professor. Regent Penley has held academic positions in Venezuela and Mexico. He's developed educational programs in partnership with institutions in China and Mexico, and is a professor emeritus at ASU. He serves on the boards of the USA Lead Network, the Catholic Community Foundation, board developer, and the Switzerland-based Guillaume Institute of Higher Education. Regent Penley is a senior fellow at the Center for Future of Arizona and has served on the Phoenix Roman Catholic Diocese Finance Committee and the boards of the East Valley Catholic Social Services, Dignity Health Foundations, the East Valley uh, Inroads, Arizona, and the Greater Phoenix Economic Council. His honors include the Frank C. Carr Award from Inroads AZ, Arizona, and the Distinguished Service Awards from the Greater Phoenix Economic Council. He has received his doctorate in management from the University of Georgia and his bachelor's and master's degree from Wake Forest University. He and his wife, Yolanda, have two children. On behalf of the Arizona Board of Regents, it is my privilege to congratulate each of you on being recipients of the All Arizona Academic Team Scholarship. This is the 26th year in which we've recognized community college graduates and provided a scholarship for them to attend one of our three public universities. Hundreds of your predecessors have already received this college degree, and we're really happy that you're one of the recipients today. This is a new economy, an economy that demands even more college graduates. It demands the kind of information skills, numerical skills, and cognitive skills that one acquires from a college degree. You have that opportunity and you've already demonstrated the capability to go beyond community college to one of our four-year universities. Community colleges are very special. They're close to their community. They provide the kind of support that many students need in order to achieve the success that they merit from a university degree. Community college is something that's very important to me, even though I'll admit I'm personally not a community college graduate. But without the community colleges, my family would be very different. My wife Yolanda spent more than 40 years as faculty member, department chair, and dean in a community college. She began her career at Laredo Junior College in South Texas. And when we moved here to Arizona, she became one of the founding faculty members of Chandler Gilbert Community College District, which at that point stood out among the cows in the area that was really underdeveloped in Maricopa County. She went on eventually to retire from Mesa Community College, where my son also attended community college. Without that community college experience, without the support he received, I sincerely doubt he would have gone on to receive a baccalaureate degree. But he did. After his associate's degree, he realized nearly all A's when he attended the university. That's the kind of benefit 
that a community college provides. And that's what I know you've received from the community colleges across Arizona. We look forward, though, to your going beyond your associate's degree to get a four-year degree. We know that a four-year college degree matters. Individuals who get a baccalaureate degree compared with those who only get a high school degree earn a million dollars more over the course of their career. But college graduates do more than earn more than high school graduates and community college graduates. Baccalaureate degree holders are more engaged in their community. They end up living healthier lives. I look forward to your being a part of Arizona and a contributor to this community. You can do so much more with a college degree, and I know you already understand that. To you individuals who are recipients of these scholarships, to your families and friends, I offer on behalf of the Arizona Board of Regents my sincerest congratulations. Thank you so much, Regent Penley, and all that you do for our state and the students. Well, now time for the main show. I get to introduce all of our all Arizona academic scholars. You're gonna be introduced to each accomplished student. For more information about the student's selected major, their career goal, their transfer university, please read along with the program in the biography booklets that we have. Each all Arizona academic team member is going to receive an award from the Arizona Board of Regents, and they're gonna be presented with a copy of the governor's proclamation and a commemorative medallion and a certificate from their college president. So lots of cool swag for the kids uh, to hang on their walls and to show all their friends and family. The colleges are going to be announced alphabetically and remember to show your support with your virtual uh, emojis. Do the hearts, the claps, whatever you want, thumbs up, and let's really support all the students and their wonderful accomplishments. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start with Arizona Western College Yuma campus, Jocelyn Andrade. Hashtag for the people. Arizona Western College, the San Luis Summerton Learning Center, Sophia Loera. Hashtag nursing. Arizona Western College, Yuma campus as well, Calais Pete. Hashtag Lumberjack Nursing. Arizona Western College, San Luis and Summerton Learning Center, Carla Vera. Hashtag for the future justice. Central Arizona College Santan campus, Jenna Bishop. I promote safety and laughter within my communities and continually practice acts of kindness and attempts to improve other states. Central Arizona College's Signal Peak Campus, Rochelle Black. Hashtag future scientists, hashtag educated indigenous women. On to Central Arizona College, the Aravaipa Campus, Crystal de Santiago. I am reliable in both professional and personal environments. When a problem occurs, I have a stubborn and analytical attitude. Central Arizona College's Superstition Mountain Campus, Liliana Flores. I stand art and teaching art. That is good. Also from the Signal Peak Campus, Christy Hill. My ambition is led by faith, hope, and perseverance to place care back into the term healthcare. Hashtag wife, hashtag mother, hashtag future nurse, and hashtag all things are possible with God. Central Arizona College's Superstition Mountain Campus, Winona Pulma. As we work to create light for others, we naturally light our own way. On to Chandler Gilbert Community College, their Pecos campus. Mary Alcas. There's no fear when you're having fun. Will Thomas. Chandler Gilbert Community College, the Williams Campus, Arad 
Urasta. Success is a marathon, not a sprint. And in this process, you will fail and come back. Also at Chandler Gilbert's Pecos campus, Brianna de la Valle. Where there is charity and wisdom, there is neither fear nor ignorance. St. Francis of Assisi. Chandler Gilbert Community College's Williams campus, Caitlin Nearing. Choose the path with the most uncomfortableness because with different can come good. Cochise College, Douglas campus, Jose Avechuco. Hashtag persistency. Cochise College, the Sierra Vista campus, Caitlin Edwards. Hashtag all Arizona K. Cochise College, the Douglas campus as well, Lauren Fullen. Hashtag future veterinarian. Cochise College, the Sierra Vista campus, Victor Oviedo. Hashtag whatsoever you do, do it with all your heart. To the north we go, Coconito Community College, Andrea Clayton. My future includes building safer, sustainable communities. I have a passion for construction and a vision to make my community a safer and more sustainable place to live. Coconito Community College, Frank Stooges. I have a passion for education and psychology. I'm so grateful for the opportunities that PTK has given me. My hope is to share my knowledge with others through teaching. Eastern Arizona College, the Gila Pueblo campus, Buck Carter. Eastern Arizona Monsters, trainer, instructor, operations, and administrative leadership. Eastern Arizona College, in the Payson campus, Brooke Dimbat. Eastern Arizona College, Payson Campus, Sports Management, and Undecided. Eastern Arizona College, the Thatcher Campus, Daisy Sism. Hashtag going on to better the world. Eastern Arizona College, the Thatcher Campus, we have Ian Seifert. Hashtag building better policy. Estrella Mountain Community College, Chelsea Lee. Hashtag nursing, hashtag aspire to inspire. Estrella Mountain Community College, Alexia Sanchez. Hashtag future psychologist. Gateway Community College, Carlos Apodaca. Hashtag Chicano. Hashtag Second Chances. Hashtag IMPTK. Gateway Community College, Aliyah Gomez. Hashtag First Generation Student. Hashtag Strong Latina Woman. Hashtag IMPTK. Glendale Community College, the North Campus, Sofia Acosta. My name is Sophia represents me. S for studious, O for organized, P for positive, H for hardworking, I for innovative, and A for ambitious. Glendale Community College, Devin Dawson. We are two-legged, linguinely conscious creatures born between urine and feces whose body will one day be the culinary delight of terrestrial worms. Hashtag learn to swim. Glendale Community College, John Garcia. Hashtag anything is possible. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag growth mindset. Mesa Community College, the Southern and Dobson campus, Landon Key. Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. Hashtag I can, I will, I must. Hashtag Hawaiian. Hashtag Polynesian, hashtag first generation, hashtag change agent, hashtag invisible battle wounds, scars are deeper and as important as physical ones. Hashtag skills USA Vicka. Mesa Community College, also at the Southern and Dobson campus, we have Brooklyn Shumway. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you will land among the stars. Hashtag PTK proud, hashtag future leader, hashtag creativity. 
Hashtag film. Hashtag performing arts. Mojave Community College, the Lake Havasu City campus. Justin Begay. I was born in Kingman, raised in Lake Havasu. I'm studying social and behavioral science. I'm a nine-year Navy vet. Hashtag MCC student. Hashtag Navy vet. Mojave Community College at the North Mojave campus. Brenda Carillo. Just a gal who is chasing her dreams. Hashtag mom life, hashtag nursing, hashtag IMPTK. Mojave Community College, the Neal and Kingman campuses. Crystal Kovalt. I have been married for 25 years. I'm the mother of two, a grandmother of four. I come from a long line of teachers. So I decided to come back to school and finish my education. Hashtag future teacher, hashtag mom. Mojave Community College, the Bullhead City campus, Wendy Gustafsson. Hashtag women and gender studies. Mojave Community College, the Bullhead City campus, David Mendez. Hashtag the little things, hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you know, just enjoy life. Mojave Community College, the Neal and Kingman campuses, Lucy Nelson. I'm a nursing student graduating at the end of this semester, looking forward to saving lives in the community and abroad. Hashtag nursing student, hashtag MCC grad 2022, hashtag global health. Mojave Community College, Lake Havasu City campus, Adam Romano. Born in Chicago, Illinois. The scholar's path, whose beginning, whose ending, he can never find. So entire, so boundless. Hashtag fine arts. Northland Pioneer College at Hopi Center, Angel Abieta. I am a proud indigenous woman who is hardworking, dedicated, and always willing to provide a helping hand. I am grateful for the support and encouragement I have received from my fiance and family. This is an achievement for us. Hashtag Hopi Laguna Santa Ana. Hashtag for my sister Imelda. Northland Pioneer College, the Painted Desert Campus, we have David Abram. Father, husband, spiritual leader, and student seeking a higher education to blend the cultural lifeway of my people with modern technology. Northland Pioneer College, the Winslow Little Colorado Campus, we have Ashlyn Adake. Uh, Chanel has seen a key at a Kaiwalia, Nit Ant, a Hiehet. Northland Pioneer College, Springerville Eager Campus, Hannah Barr. I'm a diligent, motivated, and kind leader who wants to better my life by bettering the lives of others. Hashtag future nurse, hashtag all AZ team. Northland Pioneer College, also the Painted Desert Campus, Ashton Bishop. Whether writing stories, making art, or spending time with my loved ones, I have a fierce passion for everything I do. Hashtag math rules. Northland Pioneer College, St. John's Center, Erica Novak. I am a hardworking and always on the go. I'm about to go to U of A for pre-med, and in my spare time I enjoy lifting weights, walking my dog, and spending time with my friends and family. Northland Pioneer College, the Sholo White Mountain campus, we have Jamie Ortega. The more experience I gain, the more the possibilities intrigue me. I simply want to be an empathetic, caring, and hardworking nurse. And don't forget, keep showing your support with those virtual emojis, hearts, the hand claps, and of course, more hearts. We gotta show the love. Northland Pioneer College, Winslow Little Colorado campus, Brittany Pennington. I plan to transfer to the University of Arizona, achieving a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, moving on to a Master's. My career goal is to become a flight nurse. Northland Pioneer College, the White River Center, 
Jolie Celestua. I'm transferring to ASU to go into community health. I hope to one day create a team of healthcare professionals to blend traditional and modern views of medicine among indigenous tribes. Hashtag native scholar, hashtag forks up. Northland Pioneer College, the Shola White Mountain Campus, Lauren Stidham. I'm Lauren Stidham. I can achieve anything if I work hard enough for it. I enjoy spending time with my family and my golden retriever, Millie. Northland Pioneer College, the Snowflake Taylor Silver Creek Campus, Kaylin Wilson. I've always been inspired by teachers, especially the ones that have inspired me. Dr. Amy Gray, who taught me how to write a paper for college, and Ms. McCray and Mrs. Rafael from my high school. They really inspired me to become a teacher, and I'm very grateful to this scholarship for giving me the opportunity to attend university for that. Paradise Valley Community College, the Black Mountain Campus, Donovan O'Neill. Hashtag entrepreneur. Paradise Valley Community College, Yovana Vinchik. Hashtag peace. Paradise Valley Community College, Ashley West. Hashtag hard work pays off. Paradise Valley Community College, Black Mountain Campus, Vala Zupko. Hashtag Fine Arts Rocks. Phoenix College, Pocahontas Daniels. Hashtag I'm still learning. Phoenix College, Brittany Spears. Hashtag gotta see it through. Pima Community College, the Desert Vista Campus, Rachel Gravina. The way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. A quote by Dolly Parton, singer and literacy advocate. Hashtag PTK, hashtag PCC, hashtag honors. Pima Community College, the district campus, Andre Salazar Calderon. We boom and succeed from adversity. Let's help people help each other. Hashtag informal volunteering. The Pima Community College downtown campus, Heliana Hiller. I am the rose that grew from concrete. At Pima Community College, the East Campus, Michelle Dashiel. Student, mom, and anything tech. Pima Community College, the East Campus, Danielle Ostro. I am determined, resourceful, and charismatic. But most importantly, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Pima Community College, the Northwest Campus, Genesis Benedict. I am in alignment with my values and vision. I consciously work my goals into existence. Pima Community College, the Northwest Campus, Angela Ho. I'm an adventure-seeking animal lover who is optimistic and has a passion for serving others. Hashtag believe in yourself. Pima Community College, the online campus, Hannah Irwin. Always ready for growth. Proud of how far I've come and what I've done. With patience, perseverance, and dedication, I can achieve anything. Pima Community College, the West Campus, Maximus Lou Vanos. I am an Eagle Scout and a lover of jazz music. I'm always striving to improve myself physically and mentally. Hashtag jazz. Pima Community College West Campus, Jacqueline Wirt. Social creature, always ready to make friends. Find me dancing in my kitchen or hiking in the woods. Hashtag hi, my name is Jacqueline. Rio Salado College, Codero Homes. Education has the power to change your destiny. It has changed mine. Rio Salado College, Carolyn Shack. What makes me happy? In January 2021, 
I found the free brown bag lunch feeding over 1,800 displaced citizens in Arizona. That makes me happy. South Mountain Community College, April Famoso Pineda. South Mountain Community College, An Bi Tran. Yavapai College, the Prescott campus, Gabriel Baker. Imagination connoisseur, proud thespian, ambitious heroine, to the world we dream about and the one we live in now. Hashtag little but fierce. Yavapai College, the Verde Valley campus, Jennifer Bergstad. As a young parent, college was never on my radar. Fast forward to today, and I not only have returned to college, but successfully graduated with my associates in nursing with a 3.51. I work hard to show my kids and family the importance of education and hard work. I am dedicated to helping my community and love to volunteer at helping any chance I can. My future goal is to become a psychiatric nurse practitioner and help bring better, more accessible care to the Verde Valley. Yavapai College, Chino Valley Campus, Anna Compo Onovo. Only dead fish go with the flow. Yavapai College, the Prescott campus, Justin Heisem call. Honor, courage, commitment. Yavapai College, the Verde Valley campus, Aaron Markham. I'm eager and motivated to join the nursing workforce serving our community with a special interest in aiding the health and well-being of our senior citizens. Yavapai College, the Career and Technical Education Center, Justin Ritzenthayer. As Henry Ford once said, when everything seems to be going against you, remember, the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. Yavapai College Career and Technical Education Center, Paul Schockner. Our natural world is in trouble, but with innovation, collaboration, and technology, we can fix hashtag global warming. Congratulations, students, on your wonderful accomplishments. I cannot wait to see all of the wonderful things you guys do. No doubt it will benefit all of us in Arizona and people across the world. Once again, congratulations on your accomplishment. Wow, what a great event. It's been a really special day as we celebrate you, Arizona scholars, our very best of the best. A couple of thank yous before I let you go. We certainly want to thank Ian Schwartz for emceeing. What a great job you did. Thank you so much. A special thank you to Mesa Community Colleges for pulling together this virtual event as they've pulled together this event for many, many years. Thank you so much. A special thank you to Pima Community College for their assistance in some of the printed materials. Also, a special thank you to Alpha Graphics of Mesa for their contributions. And a shout out to the Arizona Tribune for their support and coverage of this event. One last word to our scholars. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see what you will accomplish. We know it will be great things. Thanks everyone for joining us and have a great day.